it is true that the war of succession is past. It is true that the question submitted to the stern arbitrament of arms has been declared in characters of blood and fire against us. And therefore, it is true that it becomes us not to encourage the ancient animosities of sections, but merely strive to bind together and harmonize the two long discordant elements. For destiny seems to have fixed that they shall dwell under one government. J.F.J. J. Caldwell, 1st South Carolina Volunteers. The result of the last week must convince you of the hopelessness of further resistance on the part of the Army of Northern Virginia in this struggle. I feel that it is so, and regard it as my duty to shift from myself the responsibility of any further effusion of blood by asking of you the surrender of that portion of the Confederate States Army known as the Army of Northern Virginia. U.S. Grant, Lieutenant General. General, sir. Marshal? Uh, dispatch from the Union Army. General, I have received your note of this day. Though not entertaining the opinion you express on the hopelessness of further resistance on the part of the Army of Northern Virginia, I reciprocate your desire to avoid the useless effusion of blood. And therefore, before considering your proposition, ask the terms you will offer on condition of its surrender. 
your obedient servant, R. E. Lee, General. It is true that the War of Succession is past, but we need not, on these grounds, banish that war from our memories or forbid its mention to our lips. It was too prominent a phenom, not only on the Western continent, but with the First Nations of the Old World. It called forth armies too mighty, navies too crafty and persevering. It stimulated too much intellect in all private, political, and military circles. It shed too vast a deluge of blood. It laid waste to too many fields, and homesteads, and cities with flame. It engendered too intense feelings of love, of hatred, of patriotism, of bloodthirstiness, of all and fine that constitutes enthusiasm not to be a vital moment to the world.